so nervous. <laughs> Look, if this doesn't work out, then I don't want you to get upset, okay? Okay? We're finally going to have a perfect life. I, a happy husband, and you, a happy wife. At last we've got news to make us both glad. I to be a mum. And I to be a dad. Oh. Come on, you can do this. Oh, okay, Mr. Smith, come on. You're almost there. You're almost there. Yes, you can. Okay, come on. One more big push now, Mr. Smith. One more. Last one. Okay, okay. okay. All right, clamps, thank you. Four set, and congratulations, Mrs. Smith. You've given birth to a wonderful baby. Now, obviously, there's been a slight mishap with the birth. A slight mishap? Our child is a robot. Yes, I can see that. I just don't understand. What have you done to my beautiful boy? He's not flesh and blood, he looks like a toy. He's not warm and cuddly, he's made of plastic. I just feel so sad when I should feel fantastic. Again, I can see that and I can see that you're in distress. However, because I've never seen this type of incident before, I spent a lot of time researching your case, and I must admit, I've made a rather startling discovery. Now... What I mean to say will seem quite wild, but you're not the father of this strange-looking child. You say there is some question about the child's gender, but I think that the father is a microwave blender. You can't be serious! No. It's true! Would you like me to recommend you to our local marriage counsellor? So, why don't we start from the beginning? Your doctor tells me that you have a very unusual case and that you haven't spoken since the birth of your child. It's my job to try and get to the bottom of this and resolve the situation. Now I want you to think of me as someone that you can trust, for I'm here to make you feel good about yourselves once again, as at the end of the day, what is life without joy? Obviously it would be great if you could both communicate in the session, so that I can understand exactly how you both feel. So Mr Smith, why don't you begin? I love my wife, I always will through thick and thin, even when ill. But I'll never forget her unholy alliance. A sexual encounter with a kitchen appliance. A kitchen appliance? You had an affair with a kitchen appliance? Well, I guess there is a first time for everything. <laughs> it's safe to say that I've never had a case like this before. I'm not exactly sure how to deal with this. I suppose all I can say is this. So your lives are now filled with misery and strife. You hate your husband and you hate your wife. Your moment of weakness has cost you dear. Your paranoid husband will forever live in fear. 
I hope you're happy with your devious behavior, as repentance to God will be your only savior. But what of this child that you have yet to mention? Is it because of this palpable tension? I hope for your sake that you haven't been bad and shot him in the head, for that would be mad! No, 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 I could never hurt a child. Not one so beautiful and sweet, so mild. But I love my son. I call him Robot Boy. The only thing is, he's thought of as a toy.